team, it's been a few days since we actually did a talking video. Uh, like a proper check-in. Exactly, but we've just been in London. Um, so yep, spent the day sightseeing, full on tourists. Mm -hmm, we started did. at Hyde Park. Yeah, and then we got to cruise around. We ended up, um, well, we got to see everything, right? Like all, oh, as much all as the we main, could. all the yeah. main sections, which Marble is cool. Marble Arch and Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. Big Ben, although it's all covered over. In scaffolding. <laughs> um, and then obviously Tower Bridge, London Bridge, and then Tower of London. Yeah. Um, the Gherkin building. But we also need to go hang out at Wit Training, Wit Fitness. They've got about 10 different handles on Instagram, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a really cool little location. And when we got there, Chris Pitchell was there. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get to do his class that he was doing because it was all sold out well, or it was yeah. full. Um, so we did open jam and Maddie made us do some German 10 by 10 volume training. German volume training. So, so it's that 10 was by fun. 10 at 50 percent. Um, and my my reasoning behind that is because it's a really good program to speak in. Um, maintaining your strength. Yeah, maintaining strength, maintaining maintaining muscle volume as well. It's like we haven't really had the chance to train that much. So we've kind of been training every second day where we can. Yeah. But even um, the weightlifting course, we did a lot of work. Um, Yeah, exactly. But I mean, the weight training we used to so was very low in volume, so it yeah. was good to get that done. So we did 10 by 10 on squats, 10 by 10 on bench. I added it to the toaster box. And I just didn't consider. So instead, it's just a little bit of work as well. Um, with the food, we ate pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, we ate pretty good. Um, we were just sitting in the food court and then we had some food and then we went to the training facility. Yeah, which was really cool. Yeah, so we did some training there. Yeah, exactly. But I think the biggest tips we've got around that was uh, checking in the and where you can go searching places that actually say hey we do gluten free yeah there's an awesome app called find me gluten free which you should always download to have access to I guess it tells you like um, if you're searching for something on Google it might tell you where some of the gluten free places are but this is legit places that other people have reviewed yeah. they tell you whether it's celiac friendly or just gluten intolerant friendly they tell you if there's dedicated fryers if it's a full dedicated restaurant to gluten free and I know that not everybody is always searching for gluten free but nine times out of ten you're going to be much better off going to a restaurant that caters to gluten free because then you know you're going to be finding things like salads, like main courses that come with meat and vegetables. Yeah, and I feel like overall we've been able to keep the whole trip pretty darn healthy. Like we've had treats, but we've still kept our main meals healthy. So and we've pretty it, much been doing like three meals a day rather than our usual like snacks in between. Yeah, and I think that's just kind of been because we've always been on the road and like when we had snacks we'd have them, but we just really haven't had any bars or anything like that with us so we just haven't really eaten that much yeah. during in between and that, yeah. that's cool because like we said our, our training volume's down which means we probably don't need to be eating as much anyway. We're doing so much walking though. <laughs> our, all our, our main meals have been bigger as well than what they probably usually would be so yeah. I think it's very doable wherever you're traveling I mean we've, we've just had members go to places like Egypt and I don't know any idea of how that would go. Um, but for most instance, of the things there are in pizza bread. Exactly. We, we had some uh, Ethiopian food from the market just then. It was completely gluten free. Yeah. The um, bread was rice based. Yeah. And it was like a rice based sourdough, which was actually It was absolutely delicious. Amazing. You could yeah. taste the apple cider vinegar in it. It tasted so good. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Well, something else I was going to say, um, like, as Maddie said, we checked ahead for restaurants. We found those, but something else has been a massive saving grace was protein powder. We travelled with protein powder. Now we actually forgot to go, like, leave home with it. Our intention was to bring Vivo with us. So, sorry, Salman, it didn't make it to Europe. That's that was the plan. Um, but we managed to find some plant-based stuff as we said before in um, Amsterdam or Utrecht, uh, at FSF. Thank you, Nolan. But um, we've run out. So we went to a health food store today in Leon Sea, where I grew up. We're checking out my hometown, so I can show Maddie. Um, where I grew up and where I went to school and my old house, uh, which is a little bit weird, everything's a bit smaller when I'm a bit bigger and a bit older than I remember it being. Um, but we found some new protein powder, so you know it's around the same price as what we would have bought, like equivalent wise, when you do the exchange rate. And we'll be able to use it for the rest of the trip to help keep breakfast costs down. So we've pretty much got uh, England left and Spain, which is going to be cool as well. Yeah. Um, we get to have a pretty cool experience with Luke from New Yorker, which would be awesome. We get to have podcast interviews. Yeah, exactly. Go go and spend two days with him, and he lives completely off grid. He's actually got his own like obstacle race course set in up garden. in his garden, which is really cool. So we might not be able to check in while we're there, but when we get to Barcelona, we'll catch up with Melanie Ferry, one of our um, long-time members. Yeah, 
um, in Barcelona we'd be able to share them. Yeah. So uh, thank you for joining as, as always guys. Yeah, um, we appreciate your support. And I mean we haven't really said why we're doing just this, but the main reason that we're checking in and creating this vlog is because not only are we thinking about you guys and, and you know wanna help you and support you any way we can, but also wanna show you that you can still eat clean or eat reasonably healthy whilst on the road, whilst travelling, yeah. whether it's for holiday, whether it's for work, because it's a combination of both for us. Um, but also keep moving and come home feeling the better. same or if not better than before we left. We have so, so many people that go away, come home and feel like absolute crap. They need a so holiday like, from okay, their holiday. This is a way that you can do it and still be on the road, still have fun. Like yeah. we, we've had a blast. And we have had long days. Like we, you know, we've had busy long days. We're not complaining. We're loving every second of it. But it doesn't mean that we have a, like our moments where we are feeling a bit down or a bit tired. Um, but we're managing to keep our food on track despite that. Yeah, don't go on binge. So yeah. guys, thank you so much for joining in and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.